Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to introduce to you a new function in APS calculation. In the APS scenarios, a new option has been added that allows the calculation to run in the actual application or as a separate task in the background. The APS overview has new fields that show information about the actual calculation status like start, end, duration, and so on. The behavior of the buttons is changed so that they correspond to the button structure of MRP or batch calculation. You can open the defined scenario for editing. You can calculate the selected scenario and you can open the view. Also, a new scenario can be created with the add icon in the right click menu or the toolbar. The scenario has a new field for choosing how the calculation should be done with the background setting. A separate task where the calculation is opened when starting the calculation. While the calculation is running, it is possible to work with BAS and the APS browser shows the status of the calculation. With the foreground setting, the calculation is done directly in the application. While the application is running, it is not possible to work in BAS. If you select Ask Always, you can choose if the calculation should be done in the back or foreground when starting the calculation. You can also schedule an APS calculation as a planned activity. For this, you need to open the BAS Manage Server with at least one BAS service running. Go to the Planned Activities tab or click the cogwheel button right of the field and create an activity for the APS calculation to be scheduled. Right click in the window and add a new activity. Provide a short and long description. Select Script and activate the scheduling. Then, provide the frequency of repeated calculations in the respective fields. Write the following script in the execution field. Add the APS ID you wish to calculate at the end of the script, or leave it blank to calculate the default scenario, and add the activity. When the scheduled activity was finished, you will find the information in the Planned Activities tab, Last Run field. We hope you found our introductory video useful. Thank you for your attention and please stay tuned for our upcoming videos.